<laughs> We're Lloyd and Mandy. We've been traveling full time for the past seven months, searching for the perfect place to live as digital nomads. After arriving in Vietnam a week ago, we spent a couple days exploring Nha Trang. Tonight, we are about to jump on our first ever VIP overnight sleeper bus to Hoi An. All right, so we booked our VIP sleeper bus from here. It actually goes to Da Nang, and then we got a private transfer from Da Nang to Hoi An. I just booked it online and it said VIP. I'm hoping this is like a private capsule hotel sleeper bus that I have seen because the regular sleeper buses we've been getting during the day, although they're okay, like it's, I don't think it'd be great for sleeping overnight. So I hope this one's pretty good, but I just booked it online. I'm not getting my hopes up too high, but it's about two o'clock. We just checked out of our hotel and we're at a coffee shop next door. We're just gonna do some work here for a few hours because the bus doesn't leave till seven. It gets into Dunang at 5.30 a.m. Probably pretty tired when we get there. So one of the things that we have liked since we've been here and that we noticed is that the, in the cafes they actually put the Wi-Fi password on the receipt, which is super smart. Um, just a huge perk for us because we've been working from a lot of cafes. <laughs> so the bus I booked from Nha Trang to Dunang is about a million Vietnamese dong for the two of us. So that adds up to be about 60 bucks Australian, which is pretty expensive for a bus here, but we're saving a night's accommodation and it is a VIP bus, so hopefully it is worth it. I also found a private car that was, is going to pick us up straight from the bus station in Da Nang and drive us to our hotel and that was about 300,000 Vietnamese dong which is pretty good. Okay, just spent about four hours in this cafe editing and it's about six o'clock now so we're just about to jump in a taxi to head to the bus terminal uh, for our overnight bus. Taxi. Pretty confident we're going in the right place. Mandy's just looking at me like shit. I spent a fair bit of time figuring out where it is, so I think it's right. Fingers crossed. So we've arrived at what we think is the correct bus terminal. Lloyd's just going to figure it out at the moment. Just getting here right now, I had a little bit of deja vu. When I was younger, my parents were divorced, so and my mom lived on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, and we lived on the other side of British Columbia with my dad, and we used to have to take a overnight bus to go see my mom. So I'm having like flashbacks sort of of that. That's what this feels like. So I decided I'm going to listen to a lot of the music that I used to listen to when I was younger on this bus trip just for those nostalgic feels. So she just, she wrote down this number, which must be our bus number, but she put into Google Translate and it just said, my car will be here in 20 minutes. So I think she just meant to say the bus will be here in 20 minutes. <laughs> and she told me to go wait around France and then as we came around here, she just ran around and said, here. Okay. So, I think, I think this is our bus number and it'll be here in 20 minutes. We'll find out. <laughs> they look like party buses. Yeah, I don't, that's not, oh, that might be. It looks like it's got the beds in it and the private thing, but. It does have a curtain, doesn't it?
So far it looks pretty good, pretty luxurious. We've got a movie playing through the whole place. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty short for me, but it should be right. Not a lot of room to put your bag and stuff, so if you're coming on one of these, maybe don't bring too much stuff, but it looks pretty good so far. Way more luxurious than what we got last time we were on a sleeper bus, that's for sure. How's it feel? Good. I think this is plenty of room for me. Um, Even with your bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. There's lots of room. Way wider than I expected. It's got USB, you got your charging cables, headphones, you got your light, and what's this one do? Okay, so that's the TV, and then you can turn on and off your lights. So good. I think you got another little light there. I'm supposed to have a hook for your bag, but mine's broken, but that's okay. Um, blanket and pillow. Not too bad. The best part about this bus actually is that it has Wi-Fi, which I feel super safe using thanks to today's video sponsor, Surfshark. So Surfshark provides us with our own VPN while we're traveling, and in case you don't know what VPN stands for, it's Virtual Private Network. Having a VPN keeps you safe while you're online. It's kind of like wearing a mask while you're using the internet. When your laptop or phone connects to the internet, all of your information is encrypted. Do you know what that means? Encrypted. Like all the little like numbers are all messy. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know, that's what the little icons look like with encryption. All I know is when it's encrypted, <laughs> it's nobody can access it, it's completely safe. I'm not a tech wizard. <laughs> Oh, me either. So this is especially important for us because we're always using public Wi-Fi like now when we're on a public bus and there's 20 other people on the bus using the same Wi-Fi. Super simple for them to hack into your information, get your email, your passwords and things like that. So uh, I wouldn't be using the, the Wi-Fi, the public Wi-Fi without having a VPN, honestly. We've had trouble in the past with our bank accounts actually getting hacked. Um, so extra security is super important to us. Just having that extra peace of mind knowing that no one's going to be taking money out of our account and having that scary moment of, wow, all my money is gone. I plan on watching all of the NBA Finals games while we're traveling, which I would not be able to do unless I was using Surfshark's VPN because they won't allow me to log into my NBA account while I'm here in Asia. So how that works basically is when you're using Surfshark or your VPN, uh, you choose which country server you want to use. So I select Australia rather than selecting Vietnam or Thailand and it basically acts as if I am in, back in Australia. So if you sign up to Surfshark today using our code Lloyd and Mandy, you'll receive 83% off plus three months free. And for the month of June only, you'll also receive free antivirus. We'll leave a link in the description for you below. If you are still unsure about Surfshark and you want to check it out, they actually have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can give it a crack and if it's not for you, no stress, no risk at all to you. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. As always on these buses, you have to put your shoes in a plastic bag. Got our food here. Luckily, I've got a horse. You can almost go fully straight. That's pretty impressive. You're a tall guy. Oh, you can lay it more flat. Oh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> Pretty close. I'll probably um, 
Oh, legs, hey. It's sick, though. It's awesome. I tell you, if I would have had this when I was younger, going to visit my mom, this would have changed my life. I'd never slept on a bus until very recently. I'd always just been sitting straight up and had never been able to sleep. So I wish this was a thing in Canada. <laughs> so when you book your ticket, you choose whether you want top or bottom or what seat you want. Sometimes they, well it's like every time they have a weird thing where they put you somewhere else. Like we booked bottom, but he made us go up the top. There's no one down the bottom. I don't know why, what the difference is, but I think I like the top floor now anyway. We're right, I'm right next door to the toilet. Hopefully that's not an issue all night. I don't recommend any people are using it. Surely you'd rather just be asleep. Right? There's like, this is the only way to get around in Vietnam. Sleeper buses, they're everywhere. There's 20 sleeper buses lined up leaving right now going to different places. All right, we're moving now. I don't know what just happened. The driver just came and told Mandy she had to move to the bottom for some reason. Make it make sense. So update, Lloyd and I just got separated. He's above me. I'm down below. <laughs> Doesn't really work very well for filming, but good thing we got it out of the way before we got moved. It's lonely down here. <laughs> He's got all the food too. <laughs> I think we've been in Vietnam for about nine days now and probably had ten baht each. Just the easiest, best, cheapest food you can get here. I love it. Mandy really loves it. I'm seriously so cozy. It sort of feels like Christmas morning when you're like excited to go to sleep. I'll probably regret saying that in a few hours, but I really like it. It's so fun. bumpy though and not much room at all I don't know how much I can even show you guys but I'll try pretty difficult going to the toilet here
Yo. Yo. Oh. Bro. <cười> Somehow our bags were on the roof that whole time. I had no idea. He uh, loved how tall Lloyd was. <laughs> yeah, he kept coming up and measuring himself oh. to me. So our drivers here, we've got like a 30 minute drive, which is cool. And then we're gonna try and get some breakfast, I think. So I don't feel too bad considering that I didn't get that many hours of sleep. I just don't understand why they lay on the horn the entire time they're driving. Well, there's a lot of, probably a lot of bikes. I need to let them know that they're there. Probably, in hindsight, I should have just put earplugs in. Yeah, that's true. But, that wasn't the biggest problem for me. It was just like really bumpy. So Mine. bumpy, oh my god. I thought because I was down below, I thought you wouldn't be getting the bumps as bad as me. Because I felt like I was like on the ground. <laughs> if you're looking for a good night's sleep, that's not, not the way you want to do it. No. But, considering we just traveled 10 hours and now it's the next day, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Probably the hardest part for me was uh, that the bed was a bit short. Not being able to stretch my legs out. I think like under six foot is probably the limit if you want to like actually stretch your legs out and have a good sleep. Plus the, you know, you're basically sleeping on a leather seat. So it's not the most comfortable, but it's about double the price of a regular sleeper bus. Is it worth it? Probably. It's, it is way better. I dropped this off <laughs> and there was a sign saying Echo Lux Resort but like just out the front of this old rundown shop <laughs> I thought we got stitched up eh? Yeah I was a bit worried. Yeah but this looks really nice. It's very hidden and it looks like it's going to be really quiet, beautiful and look at the rice paddies I feel like we're back in Bali. Yeah. get some breakfast at this cafe here so far it's pretty cool it's so beautiful really does remind me of Bali a little bit there's like beautiful music playing um, there's chickens running around beautiful rice terraces I love it I think it'll be breakfast and then go have a nap and then later today we'll explore a little bit yeah but for now <laughs> Just gonna eat and uh, have a chill. Yeah. So I'll leave the link in the description for the bus company that we booked. Um, I would recommend doing it, even though it's about double the price as a regular sleeper bus. A lot of the places you go when you're traveling around Vietnam, there's actually no option but to travel overnight. Yeah. And if you're gonna be traveling overnight, you want a little bit of privacy, also for safety as well, like because all your belongings are there and you're asleep. It still works out pretty cheap because you're not paying for a hotel. It's not the perfect night's sleep, obviously. It could be a lot better. There is also a train option, which we might get next time, but um, I'd recommend doing the VIP sleep bus. Again. Yeah, I think it was worth it, even, yeah, even with the bit of uncomfortableness. <laughs> but 
We do need a nap now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to close the vlog out here. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it really helps our channel and lets us know that you want us to keep making these videos. We have a goal to hit 100,000 subscribers by November 11th, 2022. So please help us get there. And uh, we upload every other day. So another video coming to you very soon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.